Hello everybody, what's up? This is Andre Farnell and you're watching Better Body Expert TV. So today I wanted to discuss um, the answer to a question that, I, that I've that i gotten, um, especially this past week. It's about um, bouncing back from injuries, so like exercise injuries. And um, one of the first things to do is to take an inventory of how the injury occurred, whether it was overuse, whether it was too much load, um, placed on the muscle group, if you got hurt while working out, maybe you lifted too much. It's either that you lifted too much or you lifted um, too hard for your current capabilities. So like too many repetitions, like six days a week of lifting heavy weights for three weeks straight. You're, something's going to buckle, something's going to get hurt. The way to come back from it is to notice how you did it in the first place. So you'll know whether to scale back in weight and you'll know whether to scale back in your duration um, or intensity. So the amount of time that you spend doing it and the frequency. So how many days a week you're going to be working out. Another thing is once you know that then you got to work with the fear that comes along with an injury. So everyone who gets injured has a fear of it happening again and you gotta face that fear and then say okay well I'm going to come back bigger and stronger than even before the fear before the injury happened so the key is to find out how it happened so you don't replicate it and then go ahead and choose you know a different modality of exercise and the key thing is to not stop I see people injure their leg and they stop every single thing they do so they're no longer lifting any weights with their upper body they're no longer uh, doing isolation exercises like hand like uh, quadricep extensions or even hamstrings if you hurt your hamstring um, chances are that the other leg is going to be trainable chances are that your abs are going to be trainable chances are that your arms are going to be exactly fine so don't stop training altogether uh, most people stop everything they do it so now not only is the injured muscle weak but their entire body is weaker don't do that um, train around that muscle group as much as possible and then when you start back into uh, training the injured group like as it becomes better then what you want to do is you want to start with as light a weight as possible and increase it slowly 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 um, a lot of injuries are actually held on by the person in their head you know they don't place any sort of resistance on it uh, the best way to you know get past like a sprained ankle or something is to slowly progress to the point where you can put weight on it um, a lot of people just like I don't know what it is it's, it's, it has to do a lot with um, fear they think they're gonna mess it up by not putting any um, stress on that body part but you have to continue to give um, your body as much resistance as possible so that it can become stronger um, another thing too is once the injury is done healing you gotta train yourself to be stronger than it was before <laughs> before it was when it got injured so this means don't stop at the same level that you were at before it means train to get that leg stronger or get that arm stronger or than it was before it even got injured in the first place and that has to do with increasing an overall level of fitness be you know after the initial injury is dealt with because you're gonna go back and do the same activity and re-injure yourself again that makes absolutely no sense so this is Dre bounce it back from injuries clear the head first get to the root of why it happened and then continue to train and don't stop when you reach the last place it was before you got injured this is Dre better body expert hope that answers the question how do I deal with injuries peace